Okay, so everybody's wondering if a Honda GX or a GS 160 or 200 flywheel will fit with a charging system on this engine, on a 212. Um, here's the stock flywheel. Here's what it looks like on the inside and stuff. When you're pulling these, these things off, uh, the first time I pulled the, uh, because I tested this twice, the first time I pulled the uh, flywheel off, I used a gear puller, and that's a much better idea. Second time I didn't use a gear puller, and I kind of regret it because I, I scratched the hell out of the um, block. So you can see it has a charging coil that comes out here. Um, I tested it with my digital multimeter, which is down there. Tests great, works. I only tested if it works or not. It's de sending out, uh, char it's definitely charging. Um, there's definitely electricity passing through it. Um, but this is a Honda GX160 or GX200 flywheel on here. And it works. I ran it for about 20, uh, 20 minutes. Um, just at idle because I was afraid, you know, nobody's really done this. I was afraid it might explode or something like that. So I kind of just backed up and just let it kind of do its thing. The first time I tried it, it was moving back and forth a little bit and the vibration was crazy. So what I did was I got some lapping compound. And I put that on and I lapped it for about five minutes. Just going back and forth like, you're just going like this. The opposite way to crank and I just kept going and going finally I found a decent surface I tapped it in there got the got everything all set with the keyway um, and I tightened it down it works now one of the things I want to I want to caution you on is that the flight the uh, what the heck do you call it the uh, air fins in here the uh, the white thing that you can see in there you're gonna have to cut off two of the tabs on the back end so when you pull it off the flywheel you'll see three different tabs you got to cut off actually two of them so just letting you know that um, and she charges good she runs pretty well I'm, I'm definitely surprised it made some funny noises when it first started running but that might be because I winched it down I winched this with a with a toe ties with a tie down or a, you know like that you use on a trailer I put a tie down over the top of this and attach it to that cinder block and I revved it up a couple of times you know um, but I just let it run it at idle, and it, it runs pretty good. I was pretty surprised. Um, but there it is. Coils coming out of the back. Um, you can relocate these in a, a bunch of different positions, but I have mine right up like this, um, where the magneto is on the one side. You've got your coil on this side, um, and then your flywheel. Seems to run and work pretty well. Um, I'm surprised. It works because this has a tapered shaft. And this is a this is like a Gen 3 Honda or a Gen 3 Predator engine, so I'm really surprised that it it works. Um, this uh, is for a tapered shaft. You can see the outside diameter is about a quarter inch off the inner diameter there, and that sucks. I can't believe they would do that. I ended up completely buying a whole new engine. I'll show you my <clears throat> bought this for 189 bucks. It's a great engine. Just the build quality is much better. I picked this up, it's a gas bike engine. Don't know if you can see it or not back there, but that is a really nice engine. I'm really happy with that. Um, I haven't run it or broken it in yet, so you're gonna have to bear with me on that. This is basically connected to the battery and go. I mean, it's, it's a really good engine, exactly like the 212cc um, engine that I have that I'm putting in my motorcycle over there. <clears throat> Let me just shoot this back over like that. But everybody I talk to, it's always been, some people say it'll work, some people say it won't. Well, now we can say um, for certain it does work. Um, again, at your own risk. If you do this and uh, you can't come to me if it blows up your engine or anything like that because you did it wrong, um, I take no responsibility for it. So uh, make sure you know that. And if you're going to do it, make sure you always do it safe. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, it works pretty well, and it starts and runs, no problem. So, again, it's a Honda GX160 or GX200 and, uh, flywheel, and uh, I only got one coil in it. I know you can mount two, but I only got one, um, and it seems to be charging pretty well. So, uh, yeah, there's the charging cable coming out of it. See, I dangled it kind of through the side there. So I got sick of everything, and I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to try it, and it worked. Thanks for watching.